Uh, let's talk about Raila. You know, he's, he's going to be launching his uh, presidential campaign, even though if you ask me, I'm really waiting to just hear him say it, you know. Uh, he's always reinventing himself. There's always something about Raila. You post reggae, he charts a new path, and now he's got a Zimiola Umoja. What do you think always makes him emerge stronger? I think... He, he goes down, but I, I think never the, the, the best time that you've used is... Uh, is trying the Azimio Lamoja. <laughs> because the president issue, he has not addressed it at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's something we cannot dwell about. Yes. And uh, the person of Raila is a person that... We are still uh, even uh, suspecting he might get there and tell us it's somebody else. <laughs> well, that one I don't think <laughs> is very possible. From, uh, my the people who are like, are we sure? No, from my is he going from be? my intelligence analysis, that is not possible uh -huh. because then he would uh, have a problem that he can't deal with. Yeah. Uh, my position, which I would say about Raila, is mm -hmm. that uh, you know Raila was in detention for a long time mm -hmm. and he has come out struggling. Mm -hmm. And in the struggle, there are things that he has done which are good, some decisions he has taken which has been faulty negative but indeed overall is a person who can come down come down that's it like uh, I remember I was in one of the stations when he decided to go parallel mm -hmm. and took an oath as the people's president yes and I think I say that I would have wished if Raila would go and meet the president so that they could have a discussion. And that discussion he must go personally, not with brigades who are activists. And he finally did a little bit. function, yes. Mm -hmm. And I think out of this, he was a statesman. Mm -hmm. And you know, God also plays differently. Mm -hmm. When you're a peaceful man, God can give you grace. I think at this juncture, what is happening to former Prime Minister is about a decision he made, which God will see in the light that he did. He saved the lives of his own people. Uh -huh. Because if Raila had said that things would not work, at that point people were annoyed. Uh -huh. And you see, the secret in this country is that many of these people you see in rallies, they don't go for voting. But they make a lot of noise, but, but they when, don't yeah, vote. But when action comes, uh -huh. they are the people who leave. So they would want you to chaos more chaos as opposed to appearing stronger in reasoning. Uh -huh. So when Honda Borella made this, even internationally, uh -huh. he was seen to be a statesman. And... Uh, Going forward with what he has achieved, and that's why so many laws are going to have problems. Even in ODM, mm -hmm. they are going to have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Because the platform of the platform of Raila is no longer a loyalist pl platform. The platform of Raila is now coming from a position of knowing how to move forward. You would not move forward with Raila when you're a psychopath mm -hmm. and doing wrong things down the line. Mm -hmm. We must help the person of Raila Molodinga to change this nation. The dream, if she suggests something that we feel can be done in 20 years to come, mm -hmm. then it is not good for this country now. Mm -hmm. This country now needs tomorrow, not the future. And tomorrow, is that we must bring socio-economic platform. We must think very well on how our industrial area can come back. We must think well, because when it comes back, we'll be having casual workers, we'll be having permanent workers, and we'll be having trade, so that the economy can be stable. The thinking of the society cannot be shaken. It will reduce a lot of bribery that you see happens in the recruitment of the Kenya army and police. Because why should you bribe if you can get another job somewhere? Yes. 
So he has a position right now to think forward and tomorrow, not the future. <coughs> the future he can talk about after five years. Mm -hmm. So there's Emil Laumoja, he's bringing it because he wants a united country. Yeah. And very few politicians are understanding the concept. That's why you still find people like Alonso running with uh, their own band. And you wonder why? Because here we are, we are saying we want to move forward. And moving forward, some of these guys are very young people. Why to confuse electorates? Even if Raila does ten term, ten, two terms, it is ten years. Oh, they will still get their chance. They will still get their chance. <laughs> now, uh, that one, if Kenyans accept. Okay. And I would want Fonda Raila this time round to give a face of Kenya in terms of the people around him. Tom, I'd like you to talk about something. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of talk about Mount Kenya, you know, big wigs having settled on ODM leaders, their preferred candidate, you know, to take over from President Uru Kenyatta. Isn't that a, ma um, a major political boost, of course, ahead of his big day? But Again, the, 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 the people who always wonder, what is it about <laughs> Mount Kenya that is so, so uh, important in elections? You know, when you have the tycoons backing, just how bad is the need for money, especially when it comes to presidential uh, campaigns? Well, so. My reasoning would be a bit different. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing is, like this time around, Mount Kenya is not bringing a capital. And they have a, a majority vote that actually somebody needs to get about an average of 60%. And that's why you find uh, Raila looking on how to get those votes. So, one of the sample frame that he's using is the business community. You, you would find that he would also use community leaders. Then he would look. He would go for the masses. So it's about how to win election, and those are formulas that I think he's implementing. I don't think that uh, people are going in central because central probably is a major tribe than any other. One of the things is that they don't have a candidate this time now, and that's why they have space where people can now go and shop. Why do we always call it a tycoon home, you know? Well, Is it that uh, most tycoons come from there? Or? No, no, no. I, I, I tend to, let me give them uh, some latitude of approach. Uh -huh. My view is that these are guys who are organized and they know how to help one another. Uh -huh. And again, you must also realize that at the pre-independence time, let me talk about Lewis. Okay. Lewis who are civil servants. Majorly they are the ones who shaped up this nation in terms of policy uh, implementation because they were the so-called engineers, accountants. Mm -hmm. So name that professionalism. Mm -hmm. But the central people went into business and some of them were doing agriculture. Mm -hmm. That's how they built their economy. And you know, when you have succeeded in something that you are doing, you must not leave it to go and get work again. And you know, when you do business, you can get more money than that person who is employed. Yes. That's, that should have been the reasoning, as opposed to what uh, people are saying. Because as we think that those people are just superhuman, no. It's about the election of what they decided to do. Instead of going for work, they, they went, went for business, business and now they have and become the employers. Yes, yes. Okay. But again, you know, you have been in politics before and, and even now. Just on this money issue, you know, I'd like us to talk about it. Because in Kenya, for the longest time, it's like when you want to go for any seat, the first thing one is looking for is money 
and then they go into it. I know it's not a very good thing. I know we should not be looking uh, for our leaders uh, going by how much money they've got, but just how bad is it in Kenyan politics? I, I think money issue is only playing hand in doing that. Really? Yeah. In central, money issue is not, is not their calling card. Uh -huh. Because if you find people like Ujiri, who knew them until they got elected? Mm -hmm. And they have no any business enter enterprise. So what works in, 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 in central? In, in central, the people who are uh, who have economic value in that area identify a leader who can succeed in terms of management of their affairs. Unlike us in Duonyanza, where you can come in and corrupt the community with money. I want to tell you one thing. Do you know when we were in the multi-party club, people like Dalmas why you can they did not make it with Moi, but he made it back with Raila. Until now he's still working in government. Mm -hmm. But he was not part of the change mm -hmm. of what we wanted. Even the transformation that we wanted in Luanyanza, he was not a party to it. But he's the one who has benefited. Take a tribe like Equus. Those who are with Kenyatta senior, did not make it with Matiba. Those who were with Matiba, very few made it with Kibaki. Those who were with Kibaki, very few made it with Uru. It means they have a generational change. Mm -hmm. And that's why their thinking is different. It's not about one leader. No. Or... Mm -hmm. Go to even the Kennedy community. Moi managed almost two, two, two transformation. He started with Bargatun, he eliminated them and brought the group of Kinaruto. Uh -huh. Ruto came with a new team. Uh -huh. In those angles, you can see a generational change. If you come to Luanyaza, there's a lot of recycling. Uh -huh. And that is our undoing. Uh -huh. So we cannot be crying when we are the ones who are failing. Talking about crying, um, you know, I know, for example, Tuju who did a lot of development for his area. And yet, you know, just not being in a particular party or something like that, then people would just not vote him in. And yet, when you look at his track record, and you know, if you've been to Assembly and all that, I mean, the roads are amazing. He did so much, you know. But is it that we, we don't quite look at, for example, the development that someone brings to us, we'd rather just be psychophants that someone is with someone? I want to correct you on thing. Mm -hmm. I know you are talking about uh, Tuju and probably Gumbo. The two are a bit different. Mm -hmm. Tuju's platform was a bit arrogant. Mm -hmm. And that's why Lewis did not take him lightly. Mm -hmm. We have had people who have been elected on other party platforms. Renga has made it, uh -huh. don't have made it by chance, uh -huh. but the most significant person was Renko, and now you can talk about Shakiru. Uh -huh. Those are people who have come, people on development, to Laga uh -huh. Those are people who have come into parliament on purely development. So that is not the thinking. So they didn't look at his development record, they looked at no. arrogance. He that? was arrogant in the way he interrogated these issues. Oh, because at okay. that time, you know, when you have a captain, uh -huh. like when Rael is running, uh -huh. you must know what to speak, where, uh -huh. and how. Uh -huh. Give Rael his time, because you don't need that precedence. Uh -huh. So let him campaign, he gets it, that is now not your business. Uh -huh. But if your people accept and elect you on your own platform, then uh -huh. that's okay. Uh -huh. But it's as if he was making those comments to please somebody, which may not go very well down with the rules. It depends on at what time do you depart. And what do you say? What do you say at the time of departure? Uh -huh. When you come to Gumbo, see our politics is a bit different from the way Bondo people are playing their politics. In the Siaya, both a leg or Ugenya the game, you must address a rally. Forget about when you go to the market and you talk to them, give them something. That is not what will give you votes. Uh -huh. You must organize a rally. Come and tell them what you believe in mm -hmm. and what you do. That one you can win their heart. Mm -hmm. Because when you give out money, 
you don't talk to the only man. You only talk to people who have money. And those must be younger people. Mm -hmm. So you may be thinking that you are popular, yet that popularity cannot change to fault. But the problem is they feel it's the younger people who's got, who got... Who, who that, that is a very wrong analysis. They are only a population to influence yes. your vote. Okay. But you must go deeper to find out are they even voters. Okay.